Okay, so today I kind of wanted to just talk about like what teams I'm really excited to watch this year in the NFL because I made a video talking about like what teams I go for, which ones I don't. And so it's kind of changed because there's been quarterback changes and team changes and all that stuff. So starting off with the AFC, you know, AFC North, I'm definitely into the Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson, incredible quarterback, what he's able to do with, you know, the rushing yards and all that stuff. Great dual threat. I think he's really fun to watch. Derrick Henry has joined the team as well. So it'll be exciting to see how they do together. I want wonder what the playoff thing is going to be because they got to the AFC Championship last year. So I wonder how they're going to do in playoffs, but I really like watching them. Definitely one of my favorite teams. And then obviously the Cincinnati Bengals. I hope Joe Burrow doesn't get injured again this year and that he's able to make a push into the playoffs and everything because I really enjoy watching him a lot. Hopefully, you know, Jamar can get the contract worked out and everything. T Higgins is going to be back. So I'm just excited to watch them. Hopefully he's healthy this season. And those are the teams I'm excited about in the AFC North. AFC East, I'll definitely watch some Bills games. Josh Allen is really entertaining to watch, you know, and Agrin the Great with the rushing stuff and all that. He has lost, you know, some defensive pieces and stuff like that. Stephon Diggs got traded to the Houston Texans, so it'll be interesting to see how he does, but, you know, I'll watch some games for them for sure. I will tap into some New England games if Drake May is starting because I liked what I saw of him in the preseason a whole lot for sure. I'll probably watch a Jets game or two, but... I don't know. I'm not really that invested with them. Same thing with the Dolphins. And then for AFC South, I like the Texans a lot. I'm from Texas, and I think that they're playing well. Cedar Stroud had an amazing year last year. He got some new receivers and stuff like that. It's going to be year two, so I'm very excited to see what he does. For AFC West, the Chiefs are my favorite team, so definitely excited to see them, and I hope that they can 3P this year with the new pieces on offense and everything. Legereus Need did get traded, and that is a big loss in terms of the defense and everything, but, you know, Spags is a great defensive coordinator, so it'll be interesting to see the guys who step up and everything, and yeah, I'm just really excited for, like, the wide receiver room, Xavier, where I think he's going to be a lot of fun to watch and everything, so excited for the season overall from them for sure definitely my team nfc north i think is like the most interesting division in the nfl like there's just so much cool stuff that's going to be happening caleb williams you know i think i kind of changed my mind on him you know seeing hard knocks and stuff like that and everything and yeah so i'm definitely excited to see him play now and everything it wasn't anything to do about how he played it was just the combine situation like how he handled that wasn't really my favorite but you know I'm excited to see him play. So I'm going to tap into the Chicago Bears this season. I'm going to see exactly what they are going to be giving. And we'll see how many games that they win. I think they can win 8, 9, 10 games, but we'll just have to see. The Detroit Lions, I like them. I like them. They're not necessarily one of my teams, but I'll definitely be tapped into some of the games this season. And they got the NFC Championship last year, so we'll see what they're doing. The Green Bay Packers, I like Jordan Love a lot. They have a really young team, the defense and all that stuff. I hope that he also doesn't have the same fit as Aaron Rodgers and keep choking to the San Francisco 49ers and everything like that. He just got his contract extension. Jerry Goff got a contract extension. So yeah, but I'm really excited for the Green Bay Packers for sure. Definitely one of my favorite teams in the NFC for sure. And then the Vikings, I was excited about it, kind of, and then J.D. McCarthy got injured. So I think next season, I'm really going to start tapping in and everything, but I just don't really care this season. But yeah, the Minnesota teams, like, they're kind of giving, like, here in basketball. So I think Minnesota teams, like, I'm going to start tapping into them. So yeah, there's that. NFC East, I love the Eagles. Great team, Jalen Hurts. Great quarterback. They had that collapse last year and everything. So with the new offensive and defensive coordinators, I hope that they can get it together and have a great season and make a deep playoff run because I like the Eagles a lot. I really do. So I hope that they do well next year. I'll watch a few Commanders games this year, probably. I think Jaden Daniels will be good in the NFL and everything. So we'll kind of just see how that pans out. Probably whenever my teams are playing them, to be honest with you. But, you know, he looks decent from what I saw in the preseason. They just don't really intrigue me that much outside of him. NFC South, not going to hold you. I don't care about any team in this division. For the most part, if Michael Penix Jr. gets to start a game, I will definitely tap in. Otherwise... I don't really care a whole lot, to be honest with you. Now, for the NFC West, the 49ers used to be one of my teams, but the fan base, I feel like, is very insufferable because you keep going to the NFC Championship game and losing. You go to the Super Bowl and lose. And you guys are so cocky, acting like you're on the Chiefs' side and that you've won a Super Bowl when you haven't won a Super Bowl since before I was born. So, you know, they do too much. They do too much to the fan base and everything. So, I don't know. I kind of feel two ways about it. You know, I like Brock Purdy as a quarterback. I do. Brandon Ayuk, one of my favorite receivers in the NFL. He just got extended, which I think is so well-deserved because he's the true wide receiver one over there. Trent Williams is awaiting his contract extension, so we will see how that plays out. I'll definitely tap in, but in the NFC, I'm rooting for Green Bay or the Eagles for the most part to go to the Super Bowl. San Francisco, you keep going, you keep losing. Maybe they'll make it this year. Maybe they won't, but I don't know. 
I'll see some games from them because I like Brandon Ayuk and Brock Purdy. I'll definitely give them that. So yeah, that's kind of my overall picture in terms of who I'm most excited to see this year and everything. And this is going to be like my first like full year actually seeing everything. I've watched all the preseason games and stuff like that. But last year I didn't get into what week three or four. And my first game that I watched was the Chiefs game versus the Jets. So I'm just excited to see how everything turns out. Of course, there's going to be injuries that happen. There's going to be trades that happen. So I think that there's definitely a lot to kind of be in there. But I think it'll be interesting. Uh, Also, the Broncos, I'll tap into a game or two and everything because I think Bo Nix will be good if he's the starter. So, yeah, but also division rivalry because I like the Chiefs. I forgot to mention that. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Like, who do you think is really going to be good this year? Who are you most excited to watch? Who do you think is going to the AFC Championship, the NFC Championship? Who do you got winning it all in the Super Bowl? And who do you think is finally going to be living up to expectations? I would definitely like to know what you think. And I made some other NFL videos. I'll link them below and at the end of this video. But if you enjoyed it, give it a like. You can subscribe for more. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.